There's no respite for protesters in Myanmar as the country begins celebrating its new year. Festivities usually include water fights and street parties, but instead demonstrators are using the festival of Tingan as a rallying point. Marching through the city of Yangon, carrying traditional clay pots filled with flowers synonymous with the Buddhist tradition, while displaying pro-democracy messages and giving the free finger salute, the symbol of the anti-coup movement. This year, Tingan is about rebelling against military dictators. This is not a fun festival, but a revolutionary one. Meanwhile, there are increasing fears of unrest spiralling into civil war. Ethnic armed rebel groups have stepped up attacks on the military and police in recent weeks. While some members of the peaceful protest movement feel increasingly compelled to join them, though a united front against the military is yet to have been formed. What we all have uh, been looking forward to is that kind of unity, the consensus, consensual agreement between the pro-democracy, anti-military movement, uh, the protesters, the political leaderships and the ethnic armed uh, organizations. But in my knowledge, we are still far from there. More than 700 people have been killed in the crackdown since the military coup on the 1st of February condemned as crimes against humanity by the United Nations on Tuesday, as it warned that Myanmar could be heading towards a full-blown conflict. Now, finally.